Hey guys, it's Adam here from Tech Talk AU. Today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 favorite Windows applications. This does look like a Mac, but I can assure you this is a Windows as you can see up here. Okay, let's get straight into it. Firstly, there's Tweet Adder. What Tweet Adder does is you can log into your Twitter account and you can add as many followers, random followers as you want and what this does is it's said to be that up to 47 percent of people that you follow will follow you back which isn't great but it's better than nothing a week ago I had three followers and now I've been using tweet adder and if you go onto my twitter it's adam underscore shehab s-h-e-h-a-b you can actually see that I have now 250 people following me. So that's Tweet Adder. Check check that out. It's awesome and yeah, it's free as well. All these all these um programs I'm going to show you are free. Next we have DVD Shrink. What DVD Shrink does is if if you have a D DVD that you want to put onto your iPod um but when you save it to your computer, it's a huge file. What DVD Shrink does is you open up the disc and it scans it and you can actually make the the size of the file a load smaller. So that's DVD Shrink. Next we have Handbrake. If uh, I know heaps of people know already know what Handbrake is, but for those who don't, this is awesome. What you can do is if you have a DVD that you want to put on your iPod but like before, you can change the format into as you can see here mp4 or mkv which i'm not sure what it is but mp4 is what you want if you want to put it onto your ipod this can also go on psp um uh you can copy it to a disc you can watch it on your xbox playstation 3 loads of stuff and if you used dvd shrink to make the file smaller you click source dvd video ts file folder whatever and if you saved it to your desktop, it will have audio TS and video TS. You click the or the sorry the video TS folder, and then um, you can uh, browse the, your destination. So I normally just save it to my desktop. Wherever you want to save it, you click start. It takes a while, um, but that's awesome. Handbrake, I love that. Next we have Paint.net. If, say I wanted to make a Mac dock like I have at the bottom here, behind these icons, um, this is easy to use. What Paint.net is, it's just really an upgraded version of Paint that you can get on the computer. Paint, easy to use, there's heaps more stuff, and I just like it more. It looks better, you can do more things on it. So, say I wanted to make a dock. Um, I'd make the width 320 by 91. Um, this is just a bit of a demo type thing. I click magic wand and you click delete. And what that does is it makes it transparent. So all the checkers you won't be able to see. So now I'm going to click gradient and I'm going to make it. Hold on. I'm going to make it there. And so it's dark at the bottom, light at the top. And this is the thing that I love the most. You go if you go to layers, rotate, zoom, you can actually make this three dimensional. So I'm gonna put it there. You can pan it in and out and whatever you want. And you can zoom. So that's right in, that's right out. Um if you want to make a dock, you put it about there. Okay. And then you go to your pointer, whatever it is, and you take it right so it's on the bottom. And there's a doc. You save it to the file. Um, I'm going to be bringing out a video this week sometime on how to make your Windows look like a Mac. And um, I might be using Paint.net to show you that. So that's free. It's awesome. And the last thing I'm using, I'm going to be showing you, is Cam Studio. Cam Studio, loads of people already know about it. I've tried heaps of different ones. This is probably the best for Windows. I know Mac have way better one called ScreenFlow. Um, what this does is it allows you to record your screen like I am right now. 
Um, I've tried out a couple. There's Jing, which looks awesome, awesome quality, but the demo, which is the free one, um, you can only record up to five minutes at a time. So I don't want to pay, I think it was 20 bucks. I don't really want to pay 20 bucks just to get a video that can last longer than five minutes. So I use Cam Studio. Oh, there's also AVI Screen Classic, which is alright. It also has a um, five minute um, recording, um, five minute, a five minute time barrier, which also is not great. But Cam Studio, as you can see, it's not terrible um, quality, but it could be better. Um, this doesn't have a, a time a time barrier, if, if you want to call it that, time stop. It just, all of a sudden, it just stops when you get to that time. When I get my Mac, which is going to be pretty soon when I get enough money to say to get, um, I will be bringing out a load more movies with Josh and um, will be on my Mac. Um, and for now... That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Adam here from Tech Talk AU. Be sure to tune in soon for our next video on how to make your Windows look like a Mac. So thanks again, guys, and see ya.